everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesforce and so today i'm going to show you how to work on dynamic interaction in winter 22 in salesforce so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel salesforce and for more update like this so let's get it started without any further delay so what is dynamic interaction so as per of the winter 22 release salesforce has made generally available a feature that is called dynamic interaction di but fully supported now with further features to come on the roadmap we can communicate among multiple lightning component with the same page app page by configuring setting in the lightning app builder so with the help of lightning app builder we can configure page configuration things okay so it's time to do some practical so let me open my vs code and then you can see so now you can see this is my vs code okay and now i have to create two component that is called one source comp and second one is a target comp using dynamic interactions okay so first of all you have to configure that components under vs code and you have to create that component so let me create one component that is called source comp here and now you can see my component is created now like source comp here same thing you can apply for target or target comp like target comp and now you can see i have created two component right now one is source comp and second one target comp now let me design some html under this html part that is called source comp dot html file okay so le let me add the card here okay so let me add the card or let me remove this unwanted code here to here so this is the card let me change this title as source component right under this component you have to do like some um, that is called some input type or button right so how to do that so first of all let me add one div here under this div let me add some SLDS classes like SLDS hyphen align okay like that so SLDS hyphen align okay then align vertical center or absolute center as you want so i want to take absolute right absolute center right so absolute hyphen center so here you can see absolute hyphen center let me change this one first of all so yes and uh, after that you have to write like align align okay after that you have to do like underscore and absolute center this one right so this is the way to apply slds for particular uh, like element so let me add one input type here so lwc input okay so lwc input here so let me add the input first of all lwc input now you can see the input just click this one and it's input type anything as you want so let me take as a text here and label like enter the text here something like that placeholder if you want to use placeholder so you can use otherwise leave it as it is okay and now under this event that is called lightning input tag i need one event okay so event is like on change under this all change i use this handle change here and i need another button here so let me add new button under this area okay so let me add like br here under this uh, this code let me add one button lwc button brand is like variant is a brand level is anything like send data send data something like that okay and the event is like send data okay so i have two event that is called uh, one is handle change and second one send data so i want to define these two event under my js file okay so how to define the js file so you can see here this is a source comp dot js file and let me define 
js file under this area so how to define that first of all let me add one variable that is api so you know api is a public property okay so you can use anywhere in between the component right so api let me define one variable that, that is called source where okay after that you have to define your handler that is called handle change so how to change check this one so just copy this one and paste it here like handle change okay after that you have to use like event as a parameter in it after that here you can see um, this dot source where dot target uh, event dot target dot value right so this is the way to fetching the value from the input type box under the lwc right again we have to define another event that is called send data so just copy this one and paste it here send data and here you can see send data and now let me define one variable that is called where custom event and new custom event under this here let me define this one automatically okay like like that okay and after that you have to change this event because uh, i have created uh, with the help of some snippets so that's why it's automatic generated my code right so like a new custom event i want to create my custom event that is called item selected like items selected this one okay then under the detail i need to define like source where that is called this one just copy here and here you can see source where this dot source where okay so this is the way uh, to use uh, this uh, source where here okay and under details you can see here this parameter that is called uh, source where and this dot source where okay so this is the way to communicate this uh, source where and all the property under this component so our first source component designing and js file is ready now uh, do some configuration part under this xml file so just change this false to true right and after that you have to define like target and we have lots of target so after that you have to define like targets config so how to define the target config so first of all you have to write like this target configs and close this one under this target configs okay you have to define like target config right target sorry some type mistake target config under this target config you have to define something like let me do one thing for you here target config under this one let me remove this s and here i i want to define something here like target config under this target config you have to define like targets okay under the targets you have to define what is my target my target is lightning app page so just copy this lightning app page from here to here and paste it here right then line number 25 we have to define some configuration part that is called property so how to define property so you have to use like property like property and then name and expression so it's a self closing tag so just remove all the things and close here so my property name like anything as you want but let me check in my source anything is there like source where so just copy this one and uh, let me use as a name name equal to source where right so which type property is there like type a string it's a string type right so it's a property property this one right after that you have to define your event so how to define event like event then name equal to event name so my event name item selected here you can see in my source this one item selected so just copy this one and paste it here right after that you have to define like label so what level you want you can mention here like selected okay selected here and uh, under this event we have to define some schema so how to define that schema so just here under event you have to define like schema okay like schema under this schema 
you have to define some um, like object type properties under the init okay like this here so under schema you can see type object property source where okay and type is a string so our source component is ready okay so it's time to do some modification or some implementation under the target comp okay so let me open my target comp here you can see my target comp and let me design first html under the target or okay so let me add the card here under this card let me change this um, title to that is called target component okay so target component just here let me remove unwanted code here just a second here to here right and save it and after this card okay in this card so you have to define like uh, any text as you want like uh, uh, the entered value is like that entered value is then you have to define any variable as you want so this time i don't have any value so i will enter this value later okay so just save it and now uh, let me define that uh, one variable under this target comp js right then you have to use like at the rate api okay once you use at the rate api so now you can see like target target and you can define any variable like target where okay so just use this target where and just use this target where into the html here right just save it so our html and js file is ready now it's time to do some configuration like metadata file that is called xml file so just change this expose as a true here and then you have to do something that is called targets so let me define some targets here so you can see like app page record page home page based on your needs so you can use anywhere okay and after that you have to define like target configs so targets target configs this one okay so here you can see target configs under the target config we have to define target config okay this one so let me remove all the things from here to here this one let me change this one i think it's extra things from here and let me define like target config right then this one under this target config we have to define like targets right here targets equal to where you want to show this one so i want to show under the lightning underscore underscore app page so just copy and paste it here right then under the target config you have to define some property okay like property okay like property name so property name you can give any name so we already define one property and uh, that is called let me check this target this one target where so just paste it here target where right which type of property this have so just target string type property is there right it's a self closing tag right just save it after that you can see my config and all the things is done now it's time to do deployment so how to deployment just select first source component and deploy source to org because i don't have any uh, scratch org because of some sfdx command is there so you can create your scratch org as as you want so let me check handle change uh, in source code in source html so let me check handle change yeah so let me remove this double code because double code not accepted in lwc so again you have to deploy this component like source code and deploy source to org and you can see some process is going on and here you can see my components deploy now now same thing you can apply for target or like deploy source to or and after some time you can see my component is successfully deployed here you can see now it's time to check this component is uh, how to look like okay so just here you can see dynamic interaction i already created one app that is called lwc 
demo app under this app i have created one app that is called dynamic interaction this is the page okay so how to inject that component under this page so just click this gear icon and see edit page after that you can see lightning app builder page right so here you can see in your left panel my component name that is called source comp and target comp here so first of all let me drag and drop source comp here in left side okay and after that you can see my target comp here right so just click this source comp first and here you can see like interaction so this is the winter 22 new features interaction so just click this interaction add interaction and here you can see all the things is applied now okay so let me select each and every component here right so just let me select the component that is my target component that is target comp here and target var uh, variable that is called you can use this bracket and exclamatory mark like event dot then you can use your source as we already defined this variable like source where right just save it so here you can see my component is injected here that is called source component and target component i already configure here you can see here uh, under the interaction and interactions just click this pencil icon and here you can see i just configure all the things right like target comp and event source code something like that here you can see this one right so it's time to do like save and then activate and once you activate this one so just save it and after that you have to go back and you can check your component okay so how to check the component just pass some value from source to uh, target so once you uh, click this button that is called send data so it's automatic fetch this value to target so how to do that just uh, let me add some like this is test like that so once you click this send data so it's automatic send this text into the target component that is called our second component just click this send data and here you can see this is test right so this is the way to work on the dynamic interaction in lwc using lightning app builder okay so guys i hope you will learn something new in this session and please like share comments and please subscribe my youtube channel salesforce hunt for more update like this and i am very excited to give this newly things so that's why i am here okay so please again i request you please watch this video again and again Okay, so thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.